And it goes, oh, caress me down. Oh, and that's that loving sound. Oh, caress me down. And that's that loving sound. Even if there isn't a fucking um, musical source during sex, dude, um, with me, that song comes on regardless. So, just fucking saying, dude. Ugh. The second one of us moans, dude, deeply, Sublime comes on. And that's that 11 sound, because that's me from behind. Ah, I just spanking it up, dude. But uh, that's not what I want to talk about, dude. That's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the craziest shit that uh, fucking kids would come up with back in the fucking day, bro. Like, um, just the crazy rumors about celebrities. That no, it's just, you know, one fucking dude just started talking out his fucking ass and it spread world like fucking countrywide dude like fucking um someone someone had told me the dude from sublime shot temple or shot heroin into his temple and um <laughs> and that's how he died dude like what the fuck and we're like you're like well, how old are you when you when you when you make up this bullshit dude you're so young heroin into the temple, bro? Like, fucking kids don't even know what the fuck. I guess you know what a needle is back then, but like, you, have, you didn't know what heroin was unless you, you know, you had a bad childhood, bro. And, um, other than that, fucking, you're just making shit up. Which I guess we all did, dude. <laughs> I remember one time, bro, I told, um, I told this, uh, this kid down the street, bro, um, that I was sponsored, <laughs> like, by skate, by a skate company, dude, I wasn't sponsored, dude, I was, I was okay, and, um, this motherfucker was like, he's like, all right, let's call this dude out, because, you know, I, it, I, it makes sense to call my ass out, dude, because I was on some bullshit, was not sponsored. I don't even know why I said it. I'll tell you right now, dude. It's not even that cool to be fucking sponsored by a fucking local skate shop, dude. Like, like what the fuck was that, dude? How about you get? How about I should have got good enough that that motherfucker would have just known me, you know? He'd be like, oh, it's. I changed my name too. Like, um, is that Bradley Shreds? <laughs> and I'd come in just. Fucking grinding on his mom, dude. Oh shit, I gotta get out of the right lane. Yeah, I'd come in, dude, and his mom would be spread out on the back of a fucking truck, dude, and I'll fucking, I'll fucking nose blunt those butt cheeks, dude. And he'll be like, oh, Bradley shreds. And then, um, <laughs> what am I talking about? Um, uh, yeah, he called me out, but I did dark slide his fucking rail, motherfucker. You called me out, dude. You called me out, and I dark slide your rail on your street, on your own street, dude. On your rail, in front of your house, dude. In front of your 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 family, I dark slide that shit, dude. You know, I don't even know what happened to that kid after I dark slid his shit. Dude. <laughs> Sent that motherfucker to the shadow realm, dude. I'm sure I'm a liar, but I fucking dark slid your fucking rail, dude. All up in your face. And now there's fucking permanent grip grip tape on your shit, dude. I fucked up my board, and I fucked up your rail because I dark slid that bitch. Uh, why did I dark slide? Why was I into dark slides? That shit, all it did was fuck your board up, and then you were, like, too poor to, um... You're too poor to buy a new one, you know, because you're in middle. I was in middle school, I believe. Spreading those lies, dude. I mean, sponsor? What the fuck? What the fuck gonna believe some sixth grader in some fucking little suburban area sponsored by a local skate shop, dude? That's fucking crazy. Um, I don't know. You know, I was different times. I fucking. 
I moved up from from South Denver because the, the high school we were about to go to, or was it the middle school? One of the schools we were about to go to got shot up. Oh no, I was in eighth grade, about to go to high school. Rick was about to go to that high school and it got shot up. So parents moved up north-ish, or north from where we were. And, um, you know, back, you know, that was like the sick ass days, dude. That's a, I remember when we moved up there, dude, there was nothing in the house. And me and Rick, Rick and I, sorry, I gotta be fucking proper. Rick and I, um, just stay the night at that house, dude. Like, just fucking with nothing in it, dude. We, I think we had, I don't even think we had a fucking TV. My parents just dropped us off, dude. They, they locked all the fucking doors. And then they're like, we'll come pick you up a, in the morning, dude. There's not even any food in there. I don't think there was any toilet paper. But it didn't matter because everyone, you know, everyone had a little bit of shit on them as a kid. Just a little bit of shit on you. Yeah, well, I'm going back, to, I'm, I'm back, I'm going too far ahead. I'm talking about those crazy rumors, bro, that people be talking about, like, what was the other one? Um, Nelly with the Band-Aid, bro. Someone's like, you know why he wears that? Because he's got AIDS. <laughs> like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, dude, name, name one other dude that you've seen with the Band-Aid on his face, and he's like, AIDS. I got AIDS. You fucking can't, dude. Motherfucker was, I don't know, he was wearing a band-aid. Maybe he got cut on set, dude. Maybe the the shark cuttery board fucking was walking by, dude. Nelly's like, oh, that, that's a lamy. And, um, <laughs> oh, that, that's a lamy, bro. And then he <laughs> reached in there. And then, uh, shark cuttery, dude, just fucking uh, trips. Uh, and then, uh, the fucking shark cuttery knife just Mix him, dude. And then he's like, it's like, andale, andale, mama, ia, ia, oh, oh. And that's how he invented that song. Because he got charcuterie, bro. <laughs> what was that one? Uh, um. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, dude, he didn't have AIDS. You know who did have AIDS? Easy E, dude. No band-aids. Zero band-aids on that dude. Zero band-aids, dude. Who else had AIDS? Uh, did someone say... No, okay. I'm, 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 now I'm speaking on my ass. Uh, Alright, who else? Who else? What else are we talking about here? <laughs> Fucking... Um, Marilyn Manson, dude. Someone said... And I know you guys know this one. Someone said he took out four ribs so he can suck his own dick. <laughs> what? Just because the dude has a weird album cover, wears makeup, you just you automatically go to he's he's taking out ribs to suck his dick. Damn, dude, we some ruthless ass kids, dude. Just making shit up, bro. Just making shit up, dude. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna believe anybody from now on unless they have a Declaration of Independence, like style fucking document signed by like fucking you know people that were there, dude. The charcuterie dude. Yeah, Nelly did have AIDS, you know. Yeah, I was there. It was a CGI knife <laughs> that cut his fucking shit. And he had a bandit. He, he used that as a distraction. Distraction, dude. No, Nelly got Nelly actually got AIDS in the country slammer. <laughs> Again, fucking undulated, and fucking in his cell, dude. Uh, but uh, man, that coffee be fucking coffee, dude. Your boy has had six hours of sleep. But you know, don't give a fuck. Don't give a fig any fuck. Um, 
what else am I doing? What else am I talking about? Yeah, he, he ain't sucking his dick, dude. He ain't sucking his own dick. He's, <clears throat> you know how many goth mommies this motherfucker probably on top of, dude? He has a kid, too. You can't, you can't get your mouth pregnant, maybe. I don't know. I haven't looked it up. I don't think you can get your mouth pregnant by sucking your own dick, dude. We're not... S Seahorses do that shit? We're not asexually reproductive, bro. That's all I'm saying, dude. We, Marilyn Manson, and if he, if he did suck his own dick, <laughs> I'm sure he could have, he was doing it without the rib, uh, without the rib, uh, ripping out four ribs, dude. The fuck, four ribs? What the fuck? How? I mean, I know the medical fucking industry is insane nowadays, but turning people into cats and shit. <laughs> Deep down, I always knew I was a cat, bro. <laughs> Imagine! Ah, oh, I think I'm being hateful. I don't know. I'm not really hateful, but when you don't, when you think you're a fucking cat, or a fucking, um, like a bat or something, dude? And you get surgery to look like a bat? I'm gonna call you out, dude. Cause nah, you're not a bat, dude. You know what I wanted to be? I wanted to be the fucking planet, uh, I wanted to be Neptune, dude. The planet Neptune and just fucking float around, bro. Cause there's, it's cold back there away from the sun and I wouldn't be sweating as a planet, dude. I'd just be orbiting, dude. Be checking out that, be like, oh, what the f Oh, who's that over there? Is that? Mm, look at the rings on that bitch. And it'd be Saturn just looking at me, wearing a skirt. And I'd just be like floating by, just mm, biting my. Mm. <laughs> you know, and you know, I tap that because we got baby Pluto back there behind me, dude. Baby Plutes, baby Pluto. He's 19 years old, dude. Um. Hasn't moved out of the fucking solar system, dude. When I'm trying to fucking do my shit, dude. I'm trying to get that fucking Saturn. I'm trying to get that Saturn puss. And, uh... I don't know where I, where I went with that. God damn it, dude. Well, I love you guys. Whoever fucking watches this. Just know I... I, uh... Makes me feel good to let this shit out. But uh, this story, talk about not sucking your own dick. Um, it's called Shane O Radiator. Shane O Radiator, dude. And <laughs> this fucking guy. Dude, this will be a quick one, but like, oh, dude, this guy. <clears throat> Shane No Mac. Motherfucker Nick, he's so cool, he nicknamed himself in high school, dude. You know, back in the day, kids would come up with a nickname like, nah, you're fucking little legs, or nah, you're fucking cum thighs, or um, nah, you're you're from under my dick, dude. <laughs> uh, and then uh, he made his own name up. That's how sick he was, dude. Motherfucker looking like Chris Angel in high school, dude. Just fucking, just fucking magic trick. Just doing magic tricks everywhere, dude. He'd be like, he'd come up to like the god table, bro. He's like, you want to see a magic trick? And then um, the got the chick, the little uh, the goth mom, mommy would be like, oh, hey, I don't know, Chris, Chris, I mean Shane. And then um, he'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> you got your phone number, and he'd pull his phone number. From behind her fucking ear, dude. It'd be on a card. It's like, damn, bro, you pulled that shit out of her mind. You're a mind freak, Shane. Oh, dude, just fucking pulling magic tricks and pulling numbers, bro. Motherfucker was a. He was like the goth fucking prom king, bro. Everyone would be like, hey, Shane. Oh, hey, dude. I like your fucking. Long ass, greasy ass, motherfucking Italian ass hair. That's <laughs> that was every chick, bro. 
<laughs> oh, dude. Damn, bro. My boy was getting that shit. Just, I don't know if he was spanking cheeks. He can confirm this, maybe. But, um, in my head, this motherfucker was just a male prostitute. <laughs> Just fucking, hey, you want to skip, you want to skip third period and go under the bleachers? And then, and then she'd be like, okay. And then, um, and then Shane would, uh, he'd go under the bleachers. Under the bleachers, he'd have, um, he'd, he'd have one recliner, dude. Just, I thought he found in the trash or something. And then he'd, uh, and then, that's where he takes off his pants and he just sits back and reclines and he makes the chick stand up and just top him and um <laughs> cause you know that's like what how long was classes back then that's 45 minutes of getting topped he wouldn't have sex cause he was saving it for the special right person <sighs> he's a good man man but anyway i'm done talking about that uh this one my car dude i had a honda 89 90 <laughs> i don't know i had a honda 94 bro this purple honda with a gray hood because it was like it was a hood from a different honda because all hondas weren't they were just kind of like fucking all Hondas would just merge together, dude. I think they still are. Do you look around? You look at a Honda, dude, and it just looks like fucking like it's just eat. Hondas are just eating each other, dude, and just becoming one car. So eventually, we're just gonna see one big ass Honda <laughs> driving down the highway, just fucking, argh, fucking, and then um, just a gang of fucking poor high school kids like me, just flying, dude. <clears throat> Just listening to fucking yeah we would uh we'd be driving around dude listening to like the he just dudes you know it'd be six of us with long ass hair you don't even know who's who because you all look the fucking same you don't even know if you're you dude you're just like oh i'm having a good time oh i'm actually driving dude i thought i was that long-haired kid in the passenger side not this long-haired kid and you know i drive around i hear just fucking nothing but squeals, dude. Screams. Just this. Because the fucking, you know, back in the day, those 2000 drums weren't as clean. So it's just sloppy, just some of that shit going on, dude. And um, there's this one in one summer, dude. I'd be driving everybody around, you know, they're partying. We're just like a mobile party city at this point. <clears throat> and then um, fucking... My car started overheating, dude. Because I didn't have antifreeze. And I didn't know that because I'm a motherfucking dumbass, dude. <laughs> so, <clears throat> my buddy, Jesse, I think we tossed water in it. You know, because we were at the liquor store or something. Tossed, bought some water, tossed it into the, the fucking, whatchamacallit, radiator. And then we fucking drove, picked up Shane, and we were going back to Jesse's house. Because when his mom was gone, bro, we would just, boom, dude, tear up that old people nursing home, dude. It was like, it was a, like, senior living center, but a trailer park. So, like, it was just a calm neighborhood, and then you got us just in that fucking Honda just blasting music driving driving through that bitch dude <clears throat> just making that dude's mom's life hell bro and um but we picked up shane we drove back to jesse's we um at that point my car started overheating again dude and i'm fucking now i'm concerned i'm like what the fuck's going on um this doesn't happen twice because, you know, the crack was getting bigger in the radiator. Didn't know it at the time. And um, pretty much we stopped, dude. We dead stopped. We're like, oh, I can't fucking drive this car. It's fucking steaming. <clears throat> so luckily 
I, I made it to Jesse's house, motherfucking just smoke coming out the fucking hood, dude. I popped the I popped the hood, tossed a little stick under there to keep it propped up because I didn't have the, the real one. And um, none of us <laughs> none of us knew like what would what would happen then. And uh, sh motherfucking Shane, dude, he saw where the smoke was coming from, or he knew maybe like. He knew about radiators, not what radiators do, bro. <laughs> and this motherfucker opens the cap to the radiator while the car's still, like, just freshly parked, bro. And we were... I think we were on the sides like this. And Shane was up in the front, opens the cap, and all you hear is fucking... <laughs> and you see Volcano just shoot up, dude. <laughs> and then he look at we looked at Shane bro and he's just like fucking covered in just fucking boiling water and radiator just dripping out his face dude <laughs> and this dude this dude bro he took it dude and he walked just fucking made it to the grass dude gets on his knees He's on his knees in uh, someone's lawn, dude. And then he fucking, he, he, he goes up like this. Ah! <laughs> dude. And he fucking, just fucking like Braveheart scream, dude. Freedom! Just fucking radiator just all over him, dude. He was just wet. He was wet and green. Cause I think I had that, that green antifreeze up in there a little bit of it. And this motherfucker was just <laughs> like, stop, he stopped dropping rolled in grass, dude. Cause he thought he was on fire. That's how hot the water was. That shit was hilarious, dude. I mean, we, we made sure he was okay, but you know, we also, we also, uh, everybody was partying. So it's like, you know, are you okay, dude? But all we have is beer. <laughs> I was like, we can give you a beer, dude. I can't obviously drive you anywhere because the car fucking broke down, bro. So, but you know, that's that story. I wanted to make it super short today. I mean, it's not even fucking short because I started talking about, well, Marilyn Manson and shit. But, you know, day two of four, boy, on these night shifts. Making it work. <clears throat> and, um, I helped my neighbor out today. Moving some trash and stuff. And I don't think I've helped people really recently. And I forgot how good it, like, kind of feels, you know, to, to lend a hand to somebody. And, you know, I asked her, I was like, hey, you need help? And she's like, you know, she probably wasn't expecting that shit. And she's like, um, yeah? She asked, she's like, yeah? So, you know, I went over there, grabbed the trash, and started tossing it into the bin. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, that made me feel fucking good. And then after that, you know, I was like, I'm gonna, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look on the bright side today. Cause your boy's been fighting a fucking sinus infection, dude, or whatever this, it's in here, dude. It's in here, it's creating a human horn here. And it feels like I gotta fucking sneeze all the time. And I'm fucking, I was going crazy yesterday, dude. I told my boy I was about to Kurt Cobain my shit up, dude. Just the nose, just the fucking nose, dude. Just blow that shit off, dude. And then your boy could be a fucking, uh, one of those dudes off Fallout, dude. Um, ghoul? A ghoul. Your boy could be a ghoul. Damn, there's some traffic up in this bitch. Oh, it's, um, uh, road closure. Woo! One lane road closure. Let's fucking be late to the gym, though. Are you gonna let me in, dude? 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 Oh, he's gonna let me in. 
Uh, but, you know, I gotta focus on... Oh my god, the fucking whole highway is closed, bro! Ugh, this fucking... Life. But, I don't know. Hope you guys have a good fucking day. <laughs> Just remember, don't rip out four ribs to suck your dick. Don't shoot temp heroin in your temple. And if you have AIDS, toss a band-aid on. Peace!